What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Ben Canada Zone for uh, another daily news show um, with some very funny news uh, because it's basically already almost motta out in the Italian media which even for them is really surprising because it's match A3 and the criticism and actually the narrative uh, surrounding match A3 has gone all over the place. It's been actually shocking, you know, I, would, I think we all were expecting that, you know, at one point in the season it will come down to, oh, but Allegri would not be doing this, or Allegri will be doing this, blah, 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 so on, so on. But at match day three, I think nobody was expecting that. I think nobody was going into match day three and the next day after match day three, opening the newspapers and seeing everybody questioning Thiago Motta and putting some kind of ridiculous statement, statements out there that we're going to discuss because uh, at one point, even if you don't like Thiago Motta or you did like Allegri, at one point you just need to think about the club. And right now, it's not happening. You know, the media is going full attack on Thiago Motta, who's just been here, what is it, two months? Maybe two months? And he got his players, what is it, last week? Look, half of the players. And we are at a point where they're questioning Thiago Motta. You know, we have seven points out of nine basically. Also, no intro, so hit the like button. Hit the like button now. Uh, let's get to at least 100 likes for this video. But we have seven points out of nine. It's match day three. You're top of the league with Inter, who, by the way, drew against Genoa. We drew against Roma. Um, yes, they smacked Atalanta down, um, but they are the, the team to beat, you know. But if you need to go after match day three and you open the newspapers or you watch certain shows or clips of certain shows and you see the people who backed Allegri till the end, even when we're winning two games out of 12, Sabatini, like guys, Zazzaroni, those type of guys who have a big say in Italian media, especially Zazzaroni, he's the director of Real World Sport. But when these people come out and actually say that what is the style? What is the plan? This is not good enough. It's match day three. Thiago Motta played the first two games with some next-gen players, started the first half against Roma with some next-gen players because he got coal miners two days or three days before the game. He got Concesao and Gonzalez a couple of days, like seven days, six days before we play Roma. And you're coming out saying that this is not good enough, so on, so on. That is... A crazy agenda you know because you can have a quote-unquote agenda if you have a big sample size of something even if it sounds like an agenda you have a massive sample size and you're like you know what I base that on two three four months like people you might say I have an agenda with Danilo but I'm basing that on one two three seasons not one two three games when you do that two three games it's a freaking agenda it is an agenda to come out and say that Tiago Motta is not doing anything, is not doing enough after match day three is insanity. Even for the Italian media, but it needs to be like the club needs to come out in some sort of way and actually shield him because this is ridiculous. Even for the players, like he's, he's new to the club. A lot of players are new to this club. He's trying to implement his thing and it's going to go with ups and downs, especially when you bring in players who are just at, at the team, haven't really trained with players. If you watch that Roma game, you saw that Colt Miners was giving a lot of directions, but they were not on the same page, and it only makes sense because it wasn't just Coop Miners. You throw Coop Miners in there, fine, but you also threw Consasau in there. Douglas Luiz came in, who what, played 30 minutes, 20 minutes in the first two games. All new. It's all new. It needs time. It's not like nobody can sit there and be like, oh, I was expecting after match day three, champagne football, which also is not Thiago Motta, by the way, just throwing that out there. It's very effective football. But to ex actually come out, being in the Italian media and criticize, criticize Tiago Motta after match day three is just crazy. And the narratives of, oh, but Allegri would have been scrutinized if this happened. Allegri was three years in the job again. It wasn't three days, three match days, three years. And you have people coming out saying, oh, if this was Allegri yesterday, everybody would be on him. Yes, because that would have been year four, <laughs> not match day three. That would be match day 120 or something, you know, 20 plus. Na match day three. So the narrative is insane. The agenda is insane. 
I just like how Mota responds to the media because after the game, they asked him, I think it was Sky Sports saying, match day three, do you already have a goal in mind after three games? And when I heard that question, I was like, what do you want Mota to, to answer after match day three when he just got his players? Saying we're going to win the league? We're going to try to win the Coppa Italia? Like he just said the next, no, he actually said, yeah, I do know what the goal is. He kind of set the media up, you know, and they were all excited and saying, okay, what is the goal? And he said, Empoli. We come back, it's Empoli, it's PSV, and we move on. That's it. It needs to be game by game right now. It needs to be game by game. Because I don't think Mbangula is going to start. I don't think Fajoli is going to start. I think there will be a lot of changes. I like how he communicates. He's very open. He tells you what he's going to do. He tells you the players need to show that in training. Some players, after a couple of weeks, will tell me these are starters, these are subs at this moment in time. If you want to be a starter, prove me wrong. And if you want to remain a starter, prove me right. That's what he said. That's how it needs to be. Right now, it's just picking and choosing. He doesn't even know his formation. He doesn't know what he, like, he might have an idea what he wants to fit in court minus Concesao. But maybe when he puts it out there, he's like, okay, this is not working. Maybe I should put Concesao in that position, or maybe I should move Yildiz, or maybe it is Douglas Luiz, court minus Locatelli, or maybe it's something else. Maybe it's Suram. Who knows? But right now, match day three, to come out and actually questioning his position, because that's what they were trying to do, questioning his position after match day three, saying, what is the goal? You know, if Allegri was doing this, it's crazy. That's an agenda, and that was very predictable that was going to happen. Like, you, again, you can be Allegri in, Allegri out, Mota in, Mota out, whatever, you dislike him, whatever. But right now, it's match day three. I think at one point, you're like, okay, difference aside, we just need to back Mota and this group of players. If long term, even long term, if even midway through the season or at the end of the season, you can say, this is absolutely rubbish, you know, then you come out and fair, you can say that. But after the match day three, to come out and question <laughs> his commitment to the club, basically, for me personally, is insanity. It is insanity, it's predictable, it's actually embarrassing, uh, but I like how he deals with it. You know, I like how he deals with it. I actually like how the players kind of deal with it as well. But, I mean, come on. Match day three, what do you want? What do you want? You know, seven out of nine with two games playing with next champ players, Como or not, Verona or not. We were not winning these games last season. We were losing against Udinese or not winning Empoli, Verona. Like the list goes on and on and on. We were rubbish against these teams three years into the job. And don't say to me they bought a hundred and plus million players. Yes, but when did, when did these players arrive? If this was a performance, that happens every single week with all these players in the first team, then we can have a discussion and say, you know what, this is not good enough. But match day three, chucking them in when they just arrived a couple of days before, like probably Coop Minus has not even an apartment in Torino, just living in the hotel. Like that's how fresh he's at the club. Is insane. But let's see how that will go. Um, very early, obviously, but that's how the media is going to do. That's how they're going to react because Allegri was well known uh, by them. So yeah. Let me know in the comments what do you think, like the video, subscribe and stay tuned for the next live show which will be on Friday when I'm back, uh, back in the country. Uh, but until now, thanks and see you. Ciao.